I was asking, when you were sort of recreating uh, this sort of fateful day in history, were you uh, using the original novel this was based on sort of more, or were you sort of speaking to people and doing sort of other modes of research? Well, it's not a novel. A novel's fiction. Yeah, so the, you mean the, the Bugliosi the book? book, yeah. yeah. Um, I used that as a roadmap, as a, like a blueprint, and then did an enormous amount of research from there, three years' worth of research. I mean, of course, it's, it's a day that so many sort of people that I imagine even you know sort of live through. And I was wondering uh, just how much did you feel kind of pressure on yourself sort of depicting a day that many people have their own sort of personal sort of experiences with? It's not pressure, but it's an obligation to get it right. You know, it's, um, you know, you have to take this story seriously. It's one of the most important moments in modern American history, maybe one of the two, and uh, the other being 9-11. So it wasn't pressure, but, you know, um, Look, I think any storyteller feels an obligation to, um, to the story he's telling. And so you mentioned 9-11. I was wondering if you were able to draw, because yeah, that was more recent history and something that you lived for yourself, were you able to draw on your own personal experiences from that day, the kind of fear and the confusion, and implement that into, into oh, Parkland? You've, you've read interviews I've done. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, look, I was down near the towers uh, you know, during that weekend, uh, reporting for the Times. and. Um, I remember viscerally the power uh, and the you know terror really we all were feeling and and just not knowing you know north from south east from west and I wanted I did want to take that in level intensity and put it into Parkland and watch Parkland through those through that lens yeah I mean there's so many sort of fascinating characters that you're you're delving into I was wondering was there one in particular that, that really intrigued you and if if you were to do kind of like a spin off for example which is the one that you 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 think would have the most scope. Um, you know, look, I loved all of these characters, um, and there was some. There was a kind of democratic effect. They all were at the same level, no matter how important or big they were. You know, James Hosty, the FBI agent, probably has the story that spins off in the most directions. Um, you know, Ron Livingston brilliantly plays this FBI agent who knew about Oswald the entire time, but didn't know he was capable of this crime. And you know what, and his family life, and what the personal and professional stakes were for him, enormous story. And you, I mean, considering your, your debut feature film, you've assembled quite quite the cast. You must have been absolutely thrilled to get all of these these people on board. How could you not? Uh, very lucky. Um, didn't really think about it. Was really just focused on casting the best possible people for these roles. But I was lucky that they all wanted to be part of this film. Yeah. Let's just talk about. Paul Giamatti for a second. Is yeah. he as wonderful off screen as he as he is on it? Just the funniest, nicest, most real dude. He's just a guy and uh, comes to play. Loves his work. Loves to work. Really collaborative. Um, nothing precious about that man at all. And it must have been quite a challenge for you, from at least from an editing perspective, to kind of sh tell all of these stories succinctly and, and sort of. Um, substantially and sort of share the emphasis between them and cut between at the right times. It must have been quite a, an enjoyable challenge, I suppose. That. Yeah, I mean, an intense experience, but it's always a joy. To, it's Look, it's a joy to work. It's a joy to do what I do at that level and tell stories that matter. Of course, I mean, the entire film revolves around this one pivotal moment, and we don't actually sort of see it. From, mm -hmm. I was just wondering about the, what the decision was uh, behind that. You know, we've seen it, and I wanted to tell this story um, through the prism of someone who was experiencing what that was really like. And when something like that happens, you usually don't understand what's actually happening. It's too literal. And I wanted it to be more of an emotional, impressionistic experience than a literal experience. And do, and do you think that the, uh, the, my final question really, do you think that the realism uh, based in, in this picture was really kind of helped along by the fact that you've got a, a background in journalism? Did, that, did you bring much of that into, into directing? Oh, there's no question. I mean, everything I did was informed by um, the research I did, everything in this movie, every scene in this movie happened, and it was important for us to be able to, to be able to say that to you and to the audience to say, you know, take comfort in the fact that everything in this movie actually went down this way. Brilliant. Well, thanks so much for your time today. Sure. Appreciate it. Thank you.